come back. I have to check if stuff is up or what. I think it is. I think it is. Yes. And uh, too bad I don't have like. I need a another right hand so somebody can actually post stuff. Mm -hmm. Life again. Um. What I wanted to say is that um. I want to craft today. I'll probably do a lot of different things. Um, so, just so you know. And I did want to put a uh, music on as well. Um, so I will try to find something good. I was thinking about making some... Uh, I'll have to figure that out, but I wanted to make some um, distress oxides. I'll, I'll I'll see how that goes, but that was my that was my thinking today. What I wanted to do, you know, but um, I'll have to figure out stuff and then try to do it if how that works because I don't have I don't have those but they look amazing they, they they truly do look amazing I just have to figure out what what things I have to put somewhere and you know all that um, let me see I will put the music on, so this is the music. Hope it's not too loud, but if it is, just let me know, so I'll know. Um, and I see I can, I have to link a lot of, a lot of uh, artists. Even though there is no copyright music, um, but that doesn't matter. I can do that, no problem. Um, just trying to find my screen again and check if I'm live. I am. Hey, Laura! Welcome back. This is just uh, something that I've started before I started the first stream or the second. <laughs> I want to leave that for some reason so it's from a fan um, ladies fan I'll just cut it um, left and right so let me see how that goes what are you doing Laura are you already crafting at at 5 a.m. almost 6 Oh, that lace. Um, How is the music, Laura? Is it too, too loud? Please tell me. I hope it's not too loud. But if it is, I can still turn it off. I don't think that's straight though. And well, I'll survive. I think I'm gonna fold it down. Or what? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? I'll just cut it off. Mm. I don't want to think too much because then my scissors aren't the best. Oh no, no.
Ah, I have to wipe this. So I made a haul today. Just I want to edit the video because um, I wanted to put some 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 other things in. But now I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that, so I might just um, publish it. Um, you know, make it nice and publish it. I wanted to make a uh, tag from this though, just so you know that I'm what I'm doing. And I want to use this lace on the top too. Oh, did I say this is this is from the fan? You know, that's ladies fan that they were using for cooling them. Uh, cooling them. I have no feeling. Um, I don't know how this dries if it's if I can actually see it or not. Um. I mean, if it's dry, clear, um, matte, or shiny, that's that's my question. I'm not sure that I like music, but that, that was just something that I just clicked on, and it's a playlist. Well, I have to dry. I have to leave it dry. So I'm on my um, tablet right now, so it's a bit different, I think, and it looks better. I want to take that lace off. Bits of lace. Hi Jopi! Hi Angela! Hi Susan! Hi Maria! Did I forget? My uh, this is my progress on the, you know the the scrap bitty thingy. Oh, come on. Um, I want to put as much as as much as I can on on it. <laughs> Okay, um, found some, some more gardening thingies as well. Let me see. I got some packets, beans, more beans. They're empty, they're not full. And more beans, man, I have a lot of beans. Flowers and more flowers and flowers and uh, cucumbers, flowers, uh, zucchini. You know, I'm gonna make tags from uh, probably a lot of these things tags or journaling cards, something like that. And I wanted to show you that I do have some stuff like this. <laughs> It looks so nice. Um, some fruit, basically, what I do. God, I, 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 I actually wanted to uh, make like pocket thingies. So if it's not line, or even if it is, you can actually use it for pockets uh, or tuck spots, or you know. I think it's very nice, and I'll probably use the name um, down here 
as well because I, I want to cover this number or I can just cut it but I think it's it looks nice with the name as well and I have the whole basket here of uh, there's um, gardening thingies so that's gonna take me a while because I want to finish them Hmm, maybe I should do some painting papers, I don't know, I don't know, I just, uh, I want to do something, just, I don't know what. That's, that's what does happen to me too, looks like. Maybe we should do some painting papers. Oh yeah, those those things are from way back. I just um, saved them, uh, and my mom is saving them for I don't know what reason, but um, some some are from this garden, some are from her garden. So, and not a lot of people were working on the garden too. You know, my garden. I'm trying to find a gesso. Oh, it's here, and my credit card. Which I can't find. <laughs> um, this is my paint paper, uh, my drop sheet. So, I'll probably just, um, hmm, I'll use this side. I'm going to do greens and reds, so whatever, right? And I need more painty papers. I think I used a lot of them. And there is nothing much left, so I want to use more acrylics and some of my wall paint, you know, just because, um, yeah, it's oozing out. Squeeze it too much. Just, just squeezing it too much. Um, I'll take one baby wipe, and then I'll continue. So, what are you gonna do today, guys? What, what, what are the plans for today? Because I believe it's morning at your place. Oh, I have to change the tube because it's empty. I mean, not empty. What am I talking about? It's not open. <laughs> This is the cheapest that I paint that I got. And it's, well, it's okay, I guess. There's not much in it. And I think I need a credit card. Why don't I just want to find a credit card? Oh man, that's so, so, so bad. I have a lot of credit cards. Where are they? What did I do with them? How are they? Oh, they're not gone. Just turn on the other side. Bad. Have it. Have it right here. Let's do this. 
was thinking to maybe get a palette or something, you know, to actually mix my colors on. Um, so I might do that as well. It's not necessarily I'm going to do another coat. But I want to get more pages. So I have... This is gonna dry quick. Don't worry guys. Quick. Quick as... Really quick. Um, this is a... Um, something that I got from... Uh, Oh, that paint goes everywhere. Come on, Emma. Don't, oh, man. So I did some of the pages with acrylics, and this is watercolors. And I like that the paper, because the paper is very thick. It's like, you know, thick paper. And I always like to mix mix because I think there is not enough pigment or not pigment like it doesn't cover it very much um, just just red acrylics probably because they're so cheap so I'm just like you know smushing and hope the sound doesn't make you go nuts me rubbing and scraping hope you can see I don't think you can see all of it and I like to stamp this kind of paper it makes brings me joy but I didn't do it for a very long time now I'm gonna set this aside and I'll take more of something so I even like to color newspaper because it's thin it's very thin Maybe I should start on the other side. Oh man, found the trump. Okay, where is it? Let me just put some color on. That's perfect for right now, right? Perfect timing. Um, for me, having a very thin page is good for uh, doing something light. Um, and you can again like stamp it and all that, no problem. And putting it on with the credit card doesn't wrinkle that doesn't wrinkle it that much it does but not that much like with the paintbrush um, it leaves more color and that's why it gets more wrinkly here you're just applying like thin thin very thin coat and I'm not bothered that there is a lot of tags beneath Usually envelopes, they look very pretty with, you know, that they're not just, there is more different things. Oh. So I'll let this dry and I might as well stamp it. 
if I think that I want a design looking like paper. And this is like almost dry. Here is dry already. I got in in mailbox because I ordered it uh, for free and I did some pages already like you can see purple and peach purple and muting down the text that's what I was doing here um, that's why it's a, a little bit just so what I had on my um, credit card I think a little bit let me do I like to do like few pages just backgrounds and then whenever I am in the mood I do stamping and you know you see how this paint doesn't cover it as much it gives it color that's for sure but it doesn't give it much much opacity it's like a tint, more likely a tint. Hey, Kazia! Hey, Zoe! Hey, Vanessa! Oh, man, are you guys already up at that time? Isn't, like, very morning, very, like... So my gesso, my wall paint. I'm gonna go 
red, a little bit of red. You see, well, it looks much, much more better. Just trying to wipe as much color off whenever I put it on. Thin layers, very thin layers. That's what I'm trying to do. So I was making a um, magazine junk journal thingy, Nika, and um, what I did is I fold the pages and glued one page on the other side, you know, so they're actually, this page was that big and I just glued them together and then I cut uh, on the bottom because it was weird size. So what I did is just um, color the edges and what I'm going to do now, not right now per se, but in the future, I am going to cut a um, rectangle out of paper so I can actually write on, but not probably me because I don't do writing. So um, I can just flip over, you know, I was putting paint on. And some pages are basically um, colored all the way, some are not so colored, so... And they are much more stronger. Or it is... So yellow, blue, yellow... You know, you can see. That was even before that first journal. I, I thought to make like... Um, I'm gonna leave it like this here. Maybe it just put a little bit of blue, but that's gonna be just as it is. And I, 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 it's not necessary to do that. You, you could just, you know, you can just leave it as it is. Um, you know. And here I have to put another glue because I have my uh, tape there. Just wanted to wipe this away. So, ideas, ideas, right? But it's gonna be a journal and I'm probably gonna give it away. Um, Cause I do not journal, that's, that's, that's the sad part. <laughs> Where are my painty stuff? I'm trying to find my painting thingies. So, I'll just, I'm gonna be right back. I have something big. Have this. So, this is so big. Um, and I have this for huge envelopes that I do make. Um, and what I do is just glue two or three pages together and then um, put a acrylic on. And this is, I think, just the first page, so it's already, everything is glued and dried. I just need to put paint on. And I like the size because um, I make envelopes with rectangular, not rectangular, um, like um, square shape. So. And I like to stamp on it, 
you know. Because even even envelopes, they they look nice when they're stamped. Even though it's you know it's not smooth surface, but I don't mind. They can look like jaggedy and all that, and you know. Important thing is that it arrives from A to B and that it looks um, artsy. That's 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 what I want to do. And that, that the stamps are holding on so they don't fall off. I think this is pretty much it. I'll put it aside. but you know I have so many stuff to use so I can just you know um, this is a um, what did I do with it not much a phone book it's a phone book and what I wanted to do with this is oh come on where is it start it's here um, I, w I like the page um, they have thin paper so all phone books have thin paper um, and they uh, and uh, they look very nice so me putting color on maybe I should get a palette or something but I don't have much of uh, space that's the other thing that I'm trying to you know that's why I'm putting on the pages and not actual my palette to mix the color But when it's mixed, if there is too much paint, it's still on your credit card or your card and you can just um, apply it to another page. Um. Trying to cover the edges. Yeah, and like I said, it dries quickly. So this is probably gonna be like a minute or two. It's gonna be already dry. Take your time, Laura. Let me check the chat. Yeah, it, it, it is fun, Maria. You should try it. You just need credit card paint and something to put, you know, paint on. And if you have some of these uh, um, phone books, just use it. Thin paper always comes, you know, handy. And I was even making... Um, I was coloring um, the, the the page, like, you know, the sheet from newspaper to actually wrap my gifts in. They look very nice. I must say, they look very nice. I'll put more red. And those yellow pages, you get a different tint. You have to know that. that Yellow pages doesn't give you, it doesn't, it's just the tint. So, and I didn't always like that, so keep in mind. I'll put a little bit of white. And you wait a bit, like a second, you take a sip of coffee and then you just turn. And you can use it with water watercolors as well, just um, it'll have to dry it 
every time for a very long time. I have a booger, paint booger. Out. Out. Yes, he's out. For now. His brother's gonna come around, probably, but it's soon. Yeah, I did try painting them and they it's working good. It, it's not bad. And they're more sturdier, more connected. Um, you can put them in, you know, in a book or make a book out of it. I'd like to make some pink. Just if you're too messy with the coloring, put some something beneath so you don't glue more pages together for, with the color. Because I tend to do that. And then you have a variety of painty paper in a book. Bind together. That's a cool thing. I have get my wipey this wipe wipes that I have they're so juicy I I just don't get it why are they so juicy each time they're like oozing all that you know moisture and what the heck I'll put just a little bit oh I should do another color though I might do a little bit of yellow. It's cause you love loves yellow. And this yellow is very nice. It's nice whenever I think it's very nice whenever I you can remember someone by by color. That's 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 really cool. I think. Let's make some yellow pages. Yellow pages, yellow pages. But this yellow is much more. Um, oh man! Come on. Looks like neon to me. Neon yellow. You can try with uh, tempera as well. Tempera isn't um, that um, it's already liquidy. Maybe I should try with tempera too. Oh my god, come on. What I do, you, ju you, you just scrape paint. That That's all that you do with the credit card. It's not like you would put um, paint on with your brayer and then, you know, just... It's a bit different, but... Um, I think both is very much fun. So we have pink somewhere in the middle. Mesh up and yellow. And I'm turning pages very lightly so they don't stick together. I have another booger. Oh, yesterday I was so pissed because um, the life was not, you know, wasn't working. And I was I was pissed.
sadly that happened but I'll try try another um, another cheap store and uh, like that it's more on the top level Peachy, 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 peachy color. Oh, they didn't stick together. Nope, they didn't. This one is still wet though. Is music too loud, guys? What I do with pages, like, I put them together and just put, I mean, I just started to, to work with, you know, fabric and stuff, but I do this kind of thingy, you know, putting scraps on sticky notes and such, so, and then I make a huge paper or, and I make an envelope out of it, <laughs> or I just, um, use it for a page. I'm waiting for this to dry so I'll just um, move to something else because I want to paint I don't know where I put another um, book papers it's nice to actually use it for collaging if you have solid colors if you do you know mash up whatever you can use it for collaging and stuff like that or postcards or I like to use it for postcards and envelopes and then I don't need to buy any pretty papers and such I don't have any yellow page, so this is my yellow page. And this is my dried newspaper. Can you still see him? Can you? Can you say that this is Donald Trump? <laughs> I will use another side to put another paint on oh that was too much I'm making a mess Mixing. It looks 
so much different whenever you apply the paint on. doesn't look that bad I'm just out of uh, out of frame all the time okay we're going to drying section So we did that, and I'll just continue on another page. Master, yeah, welcome. Just try it. It's very simple. You can use your junk stuff. You know, I got this in mail for free, and the paper is like not not glossy at all. It's semi um, can't say semi glossy. It's matte and um thicker pages very good it's not like newspaper pages but it's more thicker so i'll make another red and then i'll probably move to some other colors maybe purple um, or something else let me see if i Whoop. I can't use a lot of junk mail because whatever I do have, it has a lot of um, information on, you know, so, but I usually use everything in, that comes in the mail and try to make it painty. Um, Yay! Another page made! I can show you that I made few pages. Let me just see that there is nothing uh, sensitive on. This was from uh, acrylic paints. You know, just some pages. These are all junk pages, just so you know. lot of junk pages and I'll probably put them in I'm gonna bind them together and actually put them into a um, um, junk journal I made this with stenciling more green pages you know They're not all that nice, but they're colorful, which is better than not having any color at all, I think. Oh, 
was having a lot of fun with this. You know, so there is a lot of things that you can actually, you know, it depends how you apply it. And because I, usually my paints are matte, so I don't have any problem with, um, <laughs> I don't have any problem with um, writing on them or, you know, anything like that. And I try to do like um, blues, a little bit of blues, and then I was making like five pages of blues, both sides, and then I tried to do um, yellows, and you know, because I kind of get sick of same color looking at the same color all the, all the time. But that's just me, you know, that's just me. Maybe you like seeing same colors all the time. I don't know. I don't know. Really, I don't. I have another page to paint on from Atlas. So, I might not do red. I might try green. Huge booger. Okay. I like green and white. And yeah, I can see actually how green is transparent. It is. It's very transparent to me. But it makes such a beautiful green. You know, it's not yellow green. It's more like bluish green. I would say. And I like to color the whole paper so I can use the whole paper if I want to. Even that raggedy edge yeah just it just depends how I'm gonna pick it up but here it's already dry so it's gonna be like this you see sometimes I don't like the strikes of the thingy so Sometimes, sometimes. I will take some paint from the drop paper. Well, okay. So, this little guy wants to be a little bit of green. I love this color, it looks very nice. It's like a um, turquoise green. That means anything? Because I don't get very nice color if I mix yellow and this green. Um, that yellow and this green. I think my <laughs> radio stuff. Not actual radio, but you know what I mean. But this is addicting. I was doing that for, I don't know, five, six hours, I think. Just making pages and making them and making them. So, just so you know, if you start, you might not stop. It all, it all depends on how many stuff, how much stuff you have to actually put the paint on. If you have, I have like, um, this phone book, um, another book, two, uh, magazines and random pages that I put, you know, every now and then. Um, I think this is almost dry. Except the paint, paint in the, on the card. And they do glue... I do glue pages together sometimes because I'm not using something in between. Oh, 
I'll just put a little bit of green. And I, if I have usually a lot of paint on my credit card, I try to turn it around so I can scrape with that side as well um, or apply it because it's I don't have that much paint on them, you know. So it's you know experiment experiment thing. It's not to, you know, you don't need to give up. It's It's good. It's very good. Oh, marble painting. Wow. I I'd, I'd do that, but you know, if I wouldn't like lose so much paint because I think when you do that, that you have to actually have to put a lot of paint on. I think. Like with um, nail polish, marbling and na nail polish. And I do want to make the whole page same or colored. So I can use the whole page in a project. So this is the whole page is green. Let's move. So this one is almost dry, and I'm just um Piling them up when they're dry, uh, making a, uh, oh, this one is dry too. This is from the before. And when you ever, whenever you stamp on, it's all good. It's, you know, it doesn't bother me as much, but still it doesn't bother me in this stage. So I'm turning another page. This is going to be uh, my, um, collaging paper because if I want to make um, envelopes with the you know uh, advertisements I glue two or three pages together and then when it's all dry and all I paint them but only then um, and they get more sturdier maybe maybe you can try do it the other way paint it first and then uh, leave two or three pages and then glue them together if that makes a difference to you but for now I, I didn't find any you know major difference in that There's so many printed stuff that you get in the mail. I can't even believe how I can't I can't like how much money do they actually spend for printing, you know, and a lot of people don't want to get it. Because the um, background is more dark, um, it's not so bright, you know. Which yeah, I think it's good, you know, to have varieties of one color. I have green hands. And you get painty drop paper, right? That's good too. So we can use it for tags or anything, really. Mm. Oh, I have a... Oh, I have something. Yes, I do. 
So, you know, notebooks. These are bound by staples. I have five of them. And these are watercolors. And this is just some testing page that I was trying to test something. And I'm going to apply this paint very thinly and I can still see the um, lines. So you can still write on it if you want to. And I'll put a little bit of white. Oh, you don't need to? Well, for me, how much I apply it on my, on my um, sheet, I think that it's the maximum that I can do. I mean, I can do a, a smidge more for maybe um, jelly plating, but that's, that's pretty much it. Maybe I can get used to it, but I don't know. How much um, Americana's, Americana's um, um, costs, like in Hobby Lobby or whatever you get them? Probably not in um, Walmart or, you know. And this is another way actually to get some pretty nice uh, lined papers, you know. And you don't even need to, um, you can do it by watercolors or or acrylics but I like that you know you have stapled paper and it's not everywhere because I do have like two boxes of loose paper and um, not painted I still have to paint it uh, so that um another you know thing that I have this I got for 10 cents in in my cheap store it was discounted for some reason these are watercolors smooshing I can show what I did um, stamping I think this was stamping or it was stenciling you know I don't know anymore this was stenciling stenciling I don't know what that was, uh, but I'm gonna use this. And I like to put white because I want to spread the, um, the pigment in the acrylics, you know? I know I get more pastel colors, but it's more creamy and sometimes if I think that's even not so much creamy, I put a little bit of water on but you'll have to know that if you apply a little bit of water then it's gonna dry more and it's gonna be more watery so you will get oh man I should put something on the back because this thing has a hole hole thingy holes got it all good now um so it's even more thin, you get a tint and some sort of, I don't know how to say it, but you know what I mean. This is on my, um, you know, I'm trying to clean it off because it's so, a lot of colors on. So, yeah, another page. So, it's a green day. <laughs> we have a green moment. And this is another, um, 
10 cent. I think I have like few of 10 of um, notes like this, note, notebooks. They usually go for um, 65, so, you know. These are watercolors on top of the acrylics. Um, was playing here with uh, um, droplets of um, acrylics and was moving them around and such. Looks really nice. So I hope you can see the colors okay. Um, I ironed all the paper in here. I basically do it um, if I'm in the mood. I do the ironing, ironing. Something happened. I have to finish this. Maybe I should put more red on. Um, these are inks. I don't know what here. What happened? This is stenciling. More stenciling, stenciling, stenciling. Okay. Let me go back to the page. Where was it? Here. I think this is okay and I'm gonna put um, white and red. Oh, Walmart. Yeah, I don't do Walmart. I'm not in, in America. So, how much are they? They're like... dollar per per uh, probably not probably two or three dollars per um, bottle oh I could actually put my link in Let me see. If anybody wants to join, very much welcome. Um, I was thinking about making a um, craft with me tutorial, not tutorials, um, craft with me videos that I would actually work on others tutorials so if Laura makes a tutorial how to make I don't know how to make what painty papers I would link her and try to you know do her tutorial uh, on on camera that's my idea um, cause there is so many videos that I want to try. I have three, probably already three, um, thousand videos in one, um, playlist that I save them. I save them so I can try them, you know, but, oh, I, I want, I want to try them, you know. It's from embellishments and all that and a lot of stuff that I want to try. And from a lot of different people. It's not from, you know, whenever I try to Google something and I don't find it. Um, and I try to check the for the similar content on YouTube. And if I do find something, then I want to try it. But usually I just watch it and I don't do anything about it. I get another ideas and then act on those. Um, so that's why I'm thinking that I should try um, tutorial thingies. I like this page kind of. Um, so maybe I'm not going to do anything there. And this page, maybe I should just put yellow on, more yellow. Yeah, what do you mean tutorials? What what are you gonna do? I mean, I how to say, 
like doing like making them not just watch the video while you're in bed or you know or even if you do but actually the next day make make that tutorial try it out not just you know watch it actually do it because we are we are obviously more watcher watcher than doer like you would learn math or any other language you would watch the video but to sit down and actually make something to take time of you know I think I'm gonna use a little bit of water to spread that paint a little bit more okay I think it looks much more uh, better but this looks orange to me now so yeah Oh man, how long am I painting today? 71 minutes. That's good. That's a good start. Yeah, Laura doesn't do tutorials, but you inspire people a lot. Uh, and you inspired me so many... Well, you inspired me for actually, you know, starting making live videos. I was so uptight. I know that. I know that. So helping you know others to actually try different stuff and if you do something and I like it I want to try it I'm you know so you kind of do tutorials just not in very um, you know uh, usual way you do stuff and other people want to try it <laughs> sure Vanessa whenever uh, I'm really up for anything right now um, I wanted to do like uh, I'm big on recycling and all that because it gives me like uh, I get a driver I don't know how to say it I get motivation you know it's something new for me I want to try it it's um, I can recycle I I don't need to spend money and all that you know and I painted the you know security envelope a few days ago that I wanted to use for something probably it's gonna be for embellishments and these are just watercolors I'm not sure how you can see that on on the screen how good or bad but just black and white that's boring so and here is another one it's a bluish white uh, yellowish um, you know, cute things, cute, cute, cute things. So I'll move on and just put this aside to dry and make some more. And I like actually have organized stuff. So if I put this on a shelf and it's dedicated just for stuff to be. Um, like I have painty papers, you know, I have a box for painty papers, but that box has to be like, I have to update it because it needs updates. They get stuck a little bit, but I'm just trying to see what's up with them slowly. Still good. Still good. When you watercolor it, the paper pages are not gonna stick together, so you don't need to worry about watercolors. But when you do the acrylics, then yeah, they do stick. I think I'm gonna do a few pages and then maybe I'll just um, stamp a little bit, or maybe I should just start stamping because I have a few pages now. Um, I'll think about it. What should I do next? Maybe, just maybe. And I think this paint, I think this paint that I got in, uh, oh my, uh, little, I think it was in little. Um, you have five colors. It was. I think like four or three ninety nine, four maybe. 
something like that and I got it um, and I have like not this color but I have other cubes I have a lot of paint that's what I wanted to just say you know a lot of paint um, I wanted to do some smooshing with acrylics but I would prefer more sturdy paper let me see let me see if I can do some smushing, like a few pages of hardcore smushing. Oh, this is already ripped. I'm gonna skip this one and use this too. So, because I had, you know, I had these pages that were smooshed together. Um. Sorry, I'm thinking, thinking. Maybe I'll use this one. I'm trying to get another page. So, I like to use Atlas's pages. Oh man, look at that booger. And... I don't know what I wanted to say. Just that I like to um, use different paper, page, papers. I have to spritz. It looks like a guy. Somebody. And I am just trying stuff out because... Uh, and now we have a uh, eight. Cool. I might do it again. Because now there is more moisture with, you know, because I added water. There is much, much more moisture. And I can add more because I there is a lot of paint. So, um... I don't know if I said it before, but with acrylic, with um, wall paint, I think the white paint is acrylic, real true acrylic, but any other paint, you know, like um, pigment that, that have has pigment in, like reds and, you know, color, colored ones, those actually um, wipe off. They're like temper or something, I don't know. Um, if they get wet, um, they, um, even, I mean, they, I don't know how to say it. They're like watercolors, I would say, but they don't run as much. Just, you can wipe them and they leave ink or not ink. I think I like that. My hands are so messy. I think I want to put another page on for some reason. Oh, I like that. And I like that it gives a, that texture, you know, that, um, how do you, s no, no, don't go out yet. Um, that smooshing texture, you know, that you have when you press it together. So, I love that. This is gonna go out very soon though, because I like it. So I'll just leave it for a couple of minutes. Maybe I can do something here as well. And you can do this on um, watercolors as well, no problem. Um, I don't think they're gonna just, you know, start running and and try to do marathon all of a sudden so yeah I think it looks nice I don't know if you can see it I'm gonna put it up
and they dry quicker if you do that, you know. I'll make no, I'm, I'm not gonna. I want to stamp, I, w I think I want to stamp. I'll go wash my hands, and you can even use something like this to make your texture. Um, I use it for watercolors more or less. Um, yeah. Vanessa, you mean like today or like in a few years? Because, you know, are your grandkids with you? So that's why? Um, like in the group that I posted the link to, um, you can actually put any video that you like, that you want to try. I'm, it's really open, like, um, share whatever you think it's good. I, I don't mind. You can even share your projects, whatever. Um, it's just, you know, for fun and for getting some motivation and ideas and all that. Um, and, you know, having a nice journey through, uh, crafting. So I'll do stamping. Um, I have some stamps here. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. I want to use this birdie. I got this in mail, um, for, from Happy Mail Group. Um, it's from China. AliExpress, I think. And I want to use this birdie for some reason. And I need a block. Oh man. Oh, she's right here. What am I even worrying? And I want to use this. Because it looks like it's dry. Even though it's pink, we we'll probably use it on green or something. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to fuss. I'll just do it. Okay. And yeah, I don't have the, you know, um, stays on, but I do have this. And this birdie looks very nice. So, I will make a few birdies. Wow. Um, as I, you know, in this position. Let's say, um, even though they're smaller, I'll do seven or five. Let's do five, four, and I'll make another one. Five. Just turn a page and do five again. Two, three. Four, five. Maybe I should put this away because it's like distracting me. I'm gonna turn it again and do five. And whenever you turn the paper, you can actually see where's the gap. Um, set your, you know. It's different pr perspective. Um, three. And you can go even over. Just, I don't have anything to put under. Or I do. I do. Those are the best. Let go over the edge. I'll do here another one. I think I have five now. Now I'll just, you know, add wherever I think there is too empty. Wow. 
It reminds me of, um, you know, um, bed sheets for some reason. Yeah, I think I'll put something else on, and that's that's probably gonna be it. Try this hard out someday. Someday, someday. So I have a few of the stamps here. I love this stamp set. Let me close this up. It's not gonna get dry. Maybe I should try this. It's flowers. And it's small flowers. Mmm, that's a new one too. Love it. I'm gonna use that. I got quite a few stamps. A few of them are from um, Germany and France, um, from that action store. I think I'm gonna take big one and then do the small one. Oh, they're different, so I'll do the simpler. Simpler, simpler. I don't know how to say it. Um, where's my YB? Got it, or something similar. Um, because this stamp is like, you know, it's the same if you turn it around, or you know, it's always the same. So. I will turn the paper just for me so I can see if there is anything that needs to be added in some other place. But it's, you know, same shape stamp. to put another here. So I'll take small one and do the small flowers. I don't know if you can see. Oh, you can see it good, yes. It's, it's all right. I should not worry. So I will not worry. That'd be so cute on envelope or in your junk journal or whatever you want. Even for the cover, I think it would look very nice. This doesn't have a um, center in the middle. It's like blank in the middle. Mm, it's very full already. Here and here and here and here. I should stop saying and, and here, right? Beneath is the picture. I want to make it full so it looks nice and busy and lovely and all that all that good things right here I didn't press it down good no worries I think that is it I can put another here 
but I think that's it pretty much did you <laughs> what do you mean you have no respect what do you mean by that is that like I mean it's like if you're doing something that you can actually enjoy it for free, you know, they could actually charge for communication and all that. But I don't know what set you off, but I hope that it's nothing major. And whenever you make a Facebook account, it doesn't need to be your profile, it doesn't need to have your information in. You have to know that. Um, I'm thinking what to do, so, Oh, thank you, Jopi. What is it? No, not at all, Thelma. It's it's basically very th therapeutic. You know, you make painty papers and then, let's say, 10 or 12 or more. And um, I... I, I recommend that you use um, not so glossy paper better to use um, uh, matte paper than glossy because if you're trying to color with pencils um, coloring pencils then it might um, scratch off but you can you can before you use your pencils you can just um, fix it and you know it's gonna be good most of the case scenarios, it's gonna be good. And you can still see the text, you know, which is all right. Um, if I had so much patience with, you know, um, actually coloring the whole notebook or um, magazine every page every single page with acrylics and then um, iron it and then um, stamp it and color it and then actually leave it inside and actually give it as a gift um, as a painted painted design paper like scrapbook paper you can find some videos on my um, channel as well uh, that I made how to make scrapbook paper um, that would be probably very very nice gift for a crafter to you know who wouldn't like to just get a magazine full of beautiful paper and all that you know and if you don't like it if you decide it, it's ugly you messed it up or anything you just go over with acrylic paints and do it again that's 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 so simple and uh, fix it with fixative that's that's good that's always good to fix it I have another birdie and I think then then I'm finished so yeah I think I got all the birdies and I'll just take another color, maybe purple. I'll do purple. Maybe I should do another color than purple. I'll do a few purple and few, I don't know, red or something. I don't know yet. 
but um, with this wall paint, whenever I mix wall paint with any of the acrylics, it gives it such a great matte surface to work on to, you know, imagine your kids are writing on the walls, you know, it, it's a smooth surface and it's matte and it's so good to, to do that. You know, that's why we, that's why I like to color on the walls. And I'll make few red. I don't know if you can actually see that there's some of them are red. So I'll carve a few and uh, then I'm gonna use something else and then I'll just finish this as it is. Let's say one more. This one. And I was thinking to actually put some... Um, but whenever you apply the gel pens, you have to let it dry. Or you have to heat gun it. Uh, <laughs> you have to heat, heat set it. Um, I'll try to do yellow. Let's see if yellow is working here. Yeah, it does. So, I'll do a few centers yellow. I'm not sure if it's showing on the screen or... And I'll do a few centers of peachy color. These are like neon colors and they're opaque. Which I like. But like I said, please let it let it dry. Don't go over with your hand. <laughs> You're gonna smush, um, smudge it, or you know. I think it's looking good. So yeah, or you can use gold or any other shimmer. So you can even have like that. It's shimmering. Uh, the glittery style thingy so it's you know you, you can do a lot of stuff um whew. but even having s you can use markers as well um like water-based markers and then um fi fix it and you know just so many options i think i'm just gonna move on and do another one or let me see how long i'm on it's 98 minutes, maybe 10 more minutes, and then I'll pack my bags and go. <laughs> Have a great day, Jopi. Sorry I didn't see it before, so I'm not sure if you're here, but um, have a great day, and um, yeah. Do some crafting today. Oh yeah, that's so boring. Who would... I mean, you know. Um, let me see if there is anything I love. Can I go? Would like to see that. Oh, she's going to the library? Oh, maybe she can get some junk mail. Not junk mail, junk stuff. They usually have in libraries those, you know. I got some yesterday. Oh, many, many, many things. Um, Slovenian, basically. Um, and you can get book, book, um, not book tags. Uh, is it a book tag? No, it, it's not, probably. Um, those things, and, and I usually take a lot of those that, um, are not so cute so I can actually embellish them and I could actually cut a strip here and I could just have it as a book book tag 
And I said book tag again. I don't know if it's a book tag, but I think it's... It might be a book tag. Um, and even as a cover. It looks very nice. So, um... I'm really glad that we did some painty papers today. And that I, um... Made some with you. Um, for some reason, I'm just so down today. Again, I went to sleep at 12 or 1.30. Um, was so tired from the movies and all that. Um, but I didn't want to fall back asleep because if I would, then I was pretty sure that I'm going to sleep the whole day. And I didn't want to do that. And uh, my boyfriend decided he's going to try to go to sleep at 10. Um, try. And then wake up whenever and see what his rhythm is. So he can actually um, see how many hours he actually needs for sleeping. He usually goes at work um, um, to the work at um, 8 or 8.30. But he played a lot of games, you know. Um, when he got home um, till 12 or 2 or 2.30 uh, a.m. So I just hope he's going to change his rhythm and so will I. Because um, I really, really like, you know, that... Laura, you have a really good system for, for sleeping. I just... That's just... Hands down, that's, that's very good. Um, but what I wanted to say about tutorials, I still don't know how to do that because I probably shouldn't share somebody else's tutorial. You know, I was envisioning like, let's say this is my screen, okay? This paper is my screen. And this ink, archival ink, is another screen that it's actually showing the tutorial on. So I've seen few videos that actually put... Uh, on the smaller screen, on the same screen um, tutorial that they were watching and then you could see how they were doing stuff so and they were pausing it and then you know I don't know if that's allowed or it's not allowed or how copyright is applied to that yeah I they do link other people so if I do that is that still okay or not or Anybody knows of something like that? Um, what to do? Because I would actually like to, even if I just see the beginning, let's say five minutes into the tutorial, and I really like it, I want to try it, and I would just put it onto a small screen and then just make a video. Um, yeah. Bye, Maria. Have a great day. Um, cool. How many, uh, how much coffee do you drink then that night, um, Laura? Probably a lot. Um... So, yeah, I just wanted to do something like that, but I have to see if there is a problem with copywriting issue, you know, if I try to link or just that. That's the only worry that I have right now about it. But I'll probably do more projects and, you know, whenever you start doing something, um, you... Um, Whenever you start doing tutorials, then you just do tutorials, you know. You do, you actually follow along. Which, maybe that should be a title. <laughs> Following along tutorial. Um, I just don't know what to say, but I think I should go cook or something. It's 1.15pm right now, and I think we, we've spent quite a few... Um, a lovely time together. Please, guys, get get yourself a phone book from uh, thrift stores or wherever you can find some old phone books. Um, these are just awesome. Just awesome paper. Oh, they're glued together.
cool. And um, I think this is the only one that it's so, thi uh, so thin. Usually all the rest are like heavy. Um, I mean, you could use dictionary, but I like to use dictionary pages, you know, so, and some people use, this, use Bible as well, but, you know, that depends on preferences that you want to make, um, but, yeah, that's all that I can say. Oh, wow, 12.15, you're one hour, um, so you're in the past, <laughs> what Laura said. Um, so how long is that, Laura? Is that like in one hour? Oh, so it's one here. That means it's seven there. Eight, nine, so in two hours. Yeah, I probably would need a permission, probably. Um, we'll look into it and if... I can't find any information because usually, I don't know, there isn't always uh, information about it. Um, I'll just, you know, link them and that's all. Because I do like to link others' channels and that. I do all the time that. Um... Vanessa, yes. You said Emma. Yes, me. It's me. What about me? Oh man, you you don't need as as much sleep. I couldn't do that. I need from six to eight hours of sleep. Mandatory. If I don't, I go a little bit of woohoo, and then um, and then I I, I try to you know uh, take a nap, and I feel again me. Um, so, back to my first page. I'll, I'll do the same here. I'm not ju just gonna leave it here like, like it is. Because I think it, it would look much, much more, uh, like, very good if it would be like this. So, I think... Very, I'm very happy, ladies, that that you actually watched this um, crafting day with with me. Um, not sure I'm gonna I'm gonna um, do another live today, but if I do, I'll let you know. Obviously, um, I wanted you know to paint other papers, but they have some information on, so then I have to paint those in my spare time. In you know of all all. Not online, just that. Um, but if you you joined in the group, please share some of your, you know, what did you do, well, your projects, you know, your inspirations. Because a lot of times I see a picture and I just get inspired and have to try it instantly. I have to try it. Because if I don't, then it, it's lost. It's lost in forever box. Um, so... Uh, if you do that, I can I can maybe show you. Let me see. I can show you the envelopes from yesterday. You know those recycled envelopes? Cuz I bet somebody somebody's uh, really want to try it. So, this is one envelope. This is another from Atlas. And I put a sticker on <laughs> it's a candy <laughs> and another one this is painty paper again and stenciled and another one you know and the flap I added some uh, border because it was too short and another one and this is all it opens here and like I said if the paper is too dark, then I'm like here. I would probably do it with Sharpie and then just go trace around every and each letter. Um, I like that usually. I like to do that. Um, it takes time, but still, you know, you do it because 
you know that somebody he's, he's gonna receive it's really gonna be um, it's really gonna like it so you know recycling recycling um, so again like I said thank you very much for watching today um, join the group if you want to um, there are some printables on and I will put more printables I I will oh let me let me see I have something else to show you <laughs> I mean I was printing yesterday outside and I wanted to show you what I did I made some um, I have it on my computer somewhere I just have to find it um, Quite a few of these black um, paper, like um, words on paper. Can you see? Hopefully you can. And I am going to put this file on the in the group as well, uh, so you can download and print it. And sometimes it's best best if you print it out elsewhere like I printed that outside so I'm not gonna use as much ink you know so that's good for me for me that's amazing and I can actually see how this was printed this was the last one and the ink isn't there anymore and this was the first this was the first one and second third and fourth so I can actually see how um, the ink goes away and the uh, I'll do some I'll do some stuff you know uh, I even printed my uh, printable that it's free on the page as well um, my painty papers let's say scrapbook paper okay um, and you can print it off as well and use it and what else did I did I do yeah I printed some of my stationery as well so I can share it with people and I don't know if you you um, check it out the the last video that I did because it's what it was not live that I made some postcards and I did print those postcards out as well so um, I'm gonna cut it cut it up and make more postcards for um, Easter because I think it's it looks very nice and I made a printable um, printable file so I can use it and I have another one that I made before that that was just happiness is handmade and looks like this you see you can actually see that they are very similar um, like position of the you know the birds and all that but they do look they do look different they do look different so I'm just gonna leave you with that <laughs> I'm still here yes honey um yeah i will honey i will um thank you very much for watching yet again i'm saying that probably for a fourth time or fifth i don't know um and uh see you on laura's channel very in short in hour and, and a half i think i don't know just see you there <laughs> um thumbs up and Happy crafting, guys. Happy crafting. And enjoy the day. Bye-bye.